Hey everyone, we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and we're playing some Remothered Tormented Fathers. Now, I'm still not sure what to do. And I feel like Mr. Fenton is around here fairly close by. He might be on the second floor. I know we have to open the bottom of this clock. Oh dear. I know we have to open the bottom of this clock, but I still feel like there's more in this area, in this kitchen, because we put way too much effort into getting in here for there just to be the one cable and the film. So I'm going to explore one more time before we go upstairs, mostly because I don't have keys to any of these locked doors. Also, I think I know how to use the distraction items now. You scroll through here and it says rope, baby doll, bell. And whichever one you have equipped, yeah, is the one that you use. And you use it by hitting R1. And a fucking cleaver. It is a fucking cleaver. <laughs> okay. And you'd use R1 to aim and... Oh boy. There is so much shit in here. Okay, nothing. Still nothing. Definitely nothing. Oh, come on, there's gotta be something in here. There's way too many openable things. <laughs> no. No. Was I wrong? Do I need to go to the second floor? I mean, we still have to find something like a plunger to get into the bath, the grody ass bathtub. And the kitchen seems like a good place to have a plunger. Seems like a really good place to have a plunger. No. Or like some Drano. <laughs> oh my god, that's probably good. You picked up the diversion item. Oh! Hey, <laughs> what do you know? I was right. <laughs> that means I have to go to the second floor. Tits. <laughs> okay. You gotta go all the way up to the second floor. Mr. Fenton. Oh, hey, there's the rope. I'm not here. Is he down the hall? I don't think so, which means he's on the second floor. I mean, I guess he could be down here, but I doubt it. Go right or left? <gasps> don't turn around, 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 please don't turn around. Oh, Nelly! <laughs> okay. So now we know he's downstairs. So now we know I'm safe to slowly creep my way back to his room with his dead daughter wife? Cause I thought Jennifer was the name of his daughter, but he totally called the desiccated corpse Jennifer, but it was in his room and it was obviously an old it looked like an older adult. So if Jennifer's his daughter then then why? <laughs> then just why? Get down here. No, not this hall. That's the hall to the study? I can't remember. 
<laughs> I can't remember. This is what happens when I don't play again for a few days. I forget everything. Okay, that's good to know that there's a hide spot right there. There is my safe point. Please don't stalk me, Mr. Fenton. I'm just breaking and entering. It's fine. Ew. Gross body. Close the door. <laughs> wait a minute. 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 So, no, that's not the... No, I want you to... No, I want the... the, the to you put the rope on the door. <laughs> How do I... Oh, I can hold the door closed. Interesting. Probably stop him from breaking in when I'm doing something. And plunger. And then I get jump scared. What was the key? Oh, the key was in the drain. What? Oh shit! Wait, that'd be in the basement. Did I go all the way down there? That's the clock key. Who closed this door? What? <laughs> I phased through the door. <laughs> Please don't kill me, Mr. Fenton. <laughs> so there's a dumb waiter there. Or service elevator, or whatever you want to call it. <gasps> So now we have to go to the basement, because that looked that looked like the basement. It had the, the same texturing and everything of the basement. Sneak. Okay. So he's like, hold and then release. I'm not going to release because I don't want to bring, you know, Fenton asshole all the way up here. the first floor and I need to get to the basement. Darn it! <laughs> you guys are always going to be in my way. I don't like it. I keep feeling I'm going to turn the corner and he's going to be right there in front of me. I don't like it. I'm just going to like preemptively hide in here forever. I'm just going to preemptively... I'm just going to preemptively hide in here for the rest of my life. It's going to be my Alien Isolation Let's Play all over again where I just hide in the lockers for 99.67% of my let's play. I got bored in the closet. <laughs> oh yeah, he is so definitely down here somewhere. As long as he's not in the basement! He's gonna be in the basement. Because <laughs> I'm just not allowed to have nice things, so if I want him to be somewhere, if I want him to not be somewhere, he's definitely gonna be there. Okay. So we need batteries for this. Yeah. Control panel for the ladder needs batteries. That's still locked. There's the grate. Don't make so much noise, lady! Also, it would probably help if you were wearing frickin' heels! Okay, let's find a way to raise the grill in the basement. How about the only other item I have? How about that? Will that work? How about the only other item I have? Really? Does that not work? 
Oh wait, do I have to have in a specific position? No? Well, then what do you want me to do? I'm confused. I was sure something like that would work. And there's gap is I think it could support the weight. Okay. So I need to get into here. Um. Can I use... What are my controls? <laughs> I always forget my controls. I use it on here uh, and then I probably have to yeah and then I use it and then I have to go up it's upstairs again <laughs> it's upstairs yep I need to activate the lift from the second floor in order to wrench that thing open come back down here get it and then go open the clock then get the batteries and go back to the studio okay we know what we're doing now good Now, I just need to get up there without getting killed. Cuz, cuz, cuz that's bad. <laughs> okay. I feel like he's on the second floor now. He saw me go in here. He saw me go in here. Yup! Hey! Hey, nerd! Let me alone. Okay, am I dead? Let me alone. Let me alone. Okay then, so that's what happens when he finds you. Good to know. Cause he totally saw me go in there. Mr. Fenton, please don't come down here. I'm so tired of all of this. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yes, yes, go that way. That is definitely the direction you should go, crazy naked man. <laughs> Good thing he's not naked on the front. <laughs> that is all I have to say about that. Uh-oh. I creeped. Got him. Oh, I thought I heard something. If only he wasn't wearing, you know, or if only she wasn't wearing, you know, big ass heels. <laughs> Me Got a bunch of cuts on my face. I think I can heal myself with the mirrors too. I think. But I think I can only do it a limited number of times before I break the mirror. I read something about that when I was looking up stuff for this game. Thankfully, the dumb waiter's by a save point. So I'm gonna save before I use it, just in case it makes, you know, a little racket. 
Granted, do you think the racket would lead him down to the basement where I need to go? Great. Save like your life depends on it because it does, or well, at least my you know let's playing does. Electricity is gone. I have to get back on. Okay. Oh fudge nugget. So now we have to go find the circuit breaker, which is usually in the basement of a house. Oh fuck. I can't see anything. I think- okay, I can sort of see. I think if I'm careful, because if I can't see, he can't see. Okay, I'm, on, I'm at the pillar. Fuck's sake! Oh, fuck me! No, no leave me alone! This is even worse. Oh, this is even worse because now I can't see at all. I need to get out of here. Okay. So the two places. You're fine. The two places in a house. The circuit breaker usually on is by the entrance or in the basement. I just want to sleep. Okay. There's a red light. I'm trying to use the flashlight as less as, like, not at all, or as little as possible, because I don't want him to see me. Oh, well, I was right. Okay, at least he's not in the basement. Okay, does that mean the dumb waiter works? Okay, the grate to the basement should be open now. Good. Oh, fuck's sake, he's too close to me. Yep, he was too close to me. No, no, leave me alone. Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Uh, fuck you! Uh, excuse you. Leave me alone. Uh, dude, you're- oh god, he's in my way. You don't see shit. You don't see shit, you don't see shit, you don't see shit. You don't see shit. You don't see shit. I've got the pendulum key at least. No, you don't see me. Oh, I'm bleeding all over the place, dude. I'm bleeding all over the place, my dude. You are not allowed to stay here. Bleeding all over the place. <laughs>
Okay, good. We got the pendulum key, which means we can get the battery and we'll have the film in the battery and we just gotta get to the studio. <laughs> I'm not here. I need to take my pills. <laughs> Loving this game so far. Okay. So our goal? Clock, which thankfully we're nearby. Save point. I can't take any more. Oh, it's fine. Get a shoot in the face. So yeah, I'm bleeding a bunch. Definitely gonna go to the safe point. <laughs> I just gotta hope I don't get jump scared by, uh, Mr. Fanton. Whoa, there's blood all over my bag. That is a nice touch. I thought I heard him. <laughs> Swear to God, if he kills me when I'm right in front of the safe one, I'm going to be displeased. At least you know what the defense item does now. Right. Safe point! Yes. Store life. It does crack! I was right! That's cool! Okay. Oh, I went right past the clock. I'm an idiot. I love in this game that this asshole <laughs> Doesn't have a sound cue. Use. There we go. Get it. Well, that was lucky. Also noisy. That was also very noisy. No, no, go underneath the- Oh, fudge nugget. Knife! An ice pick! Well then. I'm gonna go through the kitchen. <laughs> Alright, so we've got the battery, we've got the film. Now we just have to go up to the second floor. And watch the film. Because that's not going to end poorly for us at all. It might end slightly poorly. Just slightly. Mr. Fenton. Are you here? Oh shit, he actually was there. I can see him in the distance. I can see him way out there in the distance. Come on, come on, come on, come on! I just need to get to the door or get to the doorway before him. Because if I'm ahead of him. I'm so tired of all of this! You don't see me. You don't see me. I am as the knight! Stealthy as shit! <laughs> I say before he probably jump scares me. Okay, I know that we need to go to the study, which is this way. But I'm gonna go to the save point first. I'm going to very slowly make my way to the save point. Because I have a sneaking suspicion that. Okay. I have a sneaking suspicion that whatever I'm going, like, whatever happens, 
when I put this film and this battery into this projector, I'm going to probably either have a boss fight, or, I mean, not a boss fight, but like this game's equivalent of it or whatever, or something major is going to happen. And so, <laughs> save point ho. <laughs> very, very slowly, of course. Okay. And I just turned around and Mr. Fenton's right there like, Sup. I wonder if there's a radius around the save point where if you can get into that radius, then Mr. Fenton sort of stops. So it doesn't get to the point where you can save yourself into a bad situation. Like saving and being stuck because if you turn around he's right there and you insta die. So spoopy. Super spoopsicle. Good thing I know he's downstairs. I don't want to run though, because I know that draws him. I did actually grab the battery, right? I did, okay. <laughs> I'm paranoid now because I don't want to go back downstairs. <laughs> okay, distraction device. Put the damn pill. Get wrecked. Alright, here's the projector. Okay, I need this. Use. Ah, oh, hear him, he's upstairs now. Use. Use, 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 use! I do! I have a battery, it's right here! It's literally in my inventory, please use it! Here we go. It's a little, a little finicky getting items used. I need a surface to project the video on. There's nothing left to eat! It's all molded! Okay. Oh, I forgot that I lift. I, did I lift that? I don't know, man. Time for an obvious. Yep. <laughs> Time for an obvious cutscene. Yeah, because that's not gonna draw him right to me. The loud noise of the film starting. <laughs> Gloria. Okay. Gloria is hypnotizing him. Mesmerism session with drug injection. Patient is Richard Felton. Mr. Felton, I remind you that you were sedated with a dose of phenoxyl and submitted to the constant swing of the metronome. Can you hear me? Yes. Breathe deeply. Keep your eyes on the metronome. I... I can't... Follow. Stay calm. Keep control so of yourself. So he's drugged we are here and being you, hypnotized. What day were you born? February 16th. Can you tell me which day today is, or your wife's name? Uh, Ariana. We're in March, I think. I, I don't remember. I, I can't remember. That's normal. It's part of the mesmerism process. Stay focused. Keep your eyes on the metronome. You are now in oblivion. What That's the, the safe point. I just noticed. It's the safe point. Celeste. On the swing. Happy. Celeste. Can you see her? Keep visual contact. I see her back. She, she's still swinging. She, she can't. Oh, I thought he said screaming. Why what? doesn't she hear Mr. me? Mr. Felton, keep calm. What you see is not material. It's a reflection That's of your subconscious. My entire fault. I, I knew this would happen. It, that she would escape. Escape? We were supposed to protect her so that they wouldn't find her. Who are they? Who? I never thought she'd come back. I thought her. Do you mean Celeste came back after she disappeared? She wasn't my little girl. No, she wasn't Celeste. She was Jennifer. Mr. Felton, who are you talking about? Who's Jennifer? When my father came back in, in 1930, it was like he was dead. No physical wounds, just broken inside. He changed. I have never liked or loved him very much, but... The man that came back from Ethiopia was far, 
from being the man that once left us. He came back to himself what? quickly, but not how I wanted. Mr. Felton, were you abused by your father? Oh, no, never. He was a good man. Very strict, yes. A monster, but, but not that kind of monster. Then what kind of monster? I, I was a disappointment to him. A wimp. Okay, this is some rule of rose flower field shit. Do you think your daughter's disappearance is related to your relationship with your father? She should have never been born. My father, he, he hurt me to prevent me from her. I kept wanting her? So he want is, is Jennifer's daughter- Oh, jeez. Is this why you came here? Yeah, of doctor? course that brought like him. It's Found noisy. What you were looking for. I tried to warn you. You should have listened. What the hell? Did, what the hell is the other on my neck? Is it really worth it to put yourself into this story? He's still naked. I thought my phone went off. Stop, you bitch! <laughs> um. Some things die and stay dead forever. Oh, he's burning the film for a second. I was like, he's gonna set me on fire. Other things die and just linger in time. Uh. Sir, sooner or later, everyone will find out the truth. I already told you the truth. My daughter left us. Just one after. Then what about the dead body on your freaking in your in your we bed? We never saw her again. Fucking liar! You said that she came back, didn't you? Oh. <laughs> Still naked. <laughs> you don't understand. You you have no idea. Of naked what old man. Through. Not pain. sure if I should censor this or not. <laughs> and didn't you think of the pain your daughter's been through? Oh no, Celeste was the only bond between my wife and I. <laughs> Our marriage was more of a business deal than love. It was one of those arranged marriages where only the oh, parents oh, it's breaking. In all love each other. This has nothing to do with your daughter. On the contrary, it has everything to do with her. After she disappeared, Ariana and I were divided. But you said you were protecting Celeste. From who? It's more than you can handle, miss, and you would not understand. I want to it's help, because I'm the protagonist. I might not be able to understand, but right now, I believe Celeste decided to leave be because she was terrorized by your morbid intentions. No, it's not true. And yet, sometime later, she comes back home to the lion's it's den. It's not true. One afternoon, she knocked on the door at... I couldn't believe it. She was there. But it wasn't Celeste. It, it was Jennifer. What? Jennifer. Then you came in. God bless you. And thanks to you, I, I finally realized that Jennifer was to blame for my pain, my disease. I could not let her go away again. So one night I slipped into her bedroom. And there she was, tempting me. I could not let her hurt us again. No, can't be. And yet, you saw her body. I, I had to. I, I didn't have any other choice. You Disgusting. probably did. Murderer. You're a murderer. Oh, God, forgive me. Forgive me. But who I came? Just following her orders. Her orders? You, you came to us to, to free us from evil. Oh, God. A goat and a creepy looking red nun. What? Okay, I'm I'm doing what I can. What's with this music? How do I? There we go. Okay, I did it. <laughs> Good. The fudge nugget. 
No. Oh, that's locked. What? What? I'm I'm stuck. I'm I'm stuck. I'm stuck against the door. It's locked all of a sudden. Excuse you. Can out. What? 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 Oh my god! <laughs> what? <laughs> You're not my sister. I'm a dude. Okay, so we have a new stalker. <laughs> I'll cut you into pieces, I swear. I'll cut you like a lamb or a pig. <gasps> okay, so we have this creepy ass red nun. Come to me, moths. Come to me. Come to me, moths? Does she control the moths? <laughs> Okay, we have a new stalker. <clears throat> I guess we don't have to worry about Mr. Fenton. At least, not for a while. I don't- Oh god, please tell me I'm not having two stalkers chasing after me at the same time. Please tell me I don't have two stalkers chasing after me. Either way... I'm gonna- As soon as she gets a little bit further away from me, because I am near a safe point, I'm gonna save it. Because it's that time. I'm just going to go heal myself. Hey. <laughs> right. Save. I am covered in cuts and blood. So that's going to be it, you guys. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I am playing some remothered, tormented fathers. I'll see you all in the next video.